In number one, we see a shadow on the bottom left corner of the screen. The shadow is unidentified and no one has been able to give an explanation for it so far yet. The shadow is strange and doesn't stick around for very long, only giving us a brief glimpse of it at all. The shadow is rather broadly shaped and doesn't give us any clear definable details of what's making it, but could it be a bear standing on its hind legs as many have suggested? Or is there more to the story? In this video, we see a very impressive video clip from a trail camera at near ground level depicting a Canadian lynx, which, for the record, is not the same as a bobcat. Number two was sent to me by a loyal viewer who wants to go by the name Miss Jane from East Central Alabama. She sent me an unexplained trail camera image, presumably from her backyard, where a deer is looking up at an unidentified flying object. Whether you believe the UFO is of extraterrestrial origin is besides the point. There's obviously something there in the sky, and the deer sees it. Of course, it could be naturally explained, maybe a bug is flying past the camera, but what fun would it be to just dismiss it right away? For starters, the state of Alabama has a high density of UFO sightings according to one comprehensive map, and it's no stranger to strange happenings in the sky, especially throughout the past few years. But what did Miss Jane capture on her trail camera, located on her property in Alabama? Well, we may never truly know the answer behind that question. But you may be inclined to believe that possibly this extraterrestrial stuff that everyone talks about is true after all. Or maybe it's just a government project that no one's supposed to know about. But in my opinion, this particular instance can be explained by a bug. But this image was captured on our trail camera of what maybe is a fog light of a trespasser on our property. But since we're on the topic of unexplained lights, I decided to include it. Have you ever seen a deer pass gas in the woods? Well, you're about to now. In this alleged trail camera picture, we're looking at four unidentified hairy creatures. Well, at least that's what it's supposed to be, but the more I examine this particular image, the more I believe it's what we all know as AI-generated images. The best way to tell is by their cartoonish look, so in reality, this was probably just made on somebody's laptop. Be aware of this new trend. And in this alleged trail camera picture that also sort of looks AI, but maybe could be real, I don't know, it reveals something with a large bushy tail and two back legs. If it's real, what do you think it is? A man was hiking in a rural and heavily forested U.S. National Park when he come across something he'd never thought he'd ever see. He was hiking on one of the trails, fortunately, with a camera, and that's when he saw something at the edge of his feet which he just had to photograph. The remains of an unknown animal. It may be upsetting to some viewers. The image has went viral, and many have suggested as to what they think it is, but no one can give a concrete answer. 
Some people say it's just the skull of a bear. But what do you personally think? Comment down below. A series of images were posted to the internet, compiled into one video of what appears to be a canine-like creature standing upright, running away from the cameraman. The original poster alleges that it come from a government surveillance camera and was leaked to the public by accident. Whether the story itself or the attached imagery is real at all is in question. The images are blurry and dark, and little can be done about it to make out any extra detail. No location or any extra information has been provided either, giving us limited knowledge as to what's actually going on here. I decided to go through and brighten up the images and slow it down just a bit, and this was the result. Again, it's not the best quality, but it'll do for now. So is this video a blatant fake, or is there possibly some truth to it? Let me know what you personally think down in the comment section below. This here is a 1902 picture of an extinct animal known as the thylacine, a carnivorous marsupial, which inhabited the small island region of Tasmania located south of mainland Australia. Hence, why it is also called a Tasmanian tiger or Tasmanian wolf. Here is a 3D model depicting its unique striped pattern located on its back. And even though this animal has been extinct for more than 80 years, there are still news articles coming out every few months or so showing that Tasmanian tiger sightings are not as rare as one might think. And here recently there was a rather credible sighting. Recently, a Facebook user posted this picture of what they claim to be a Tasmanian tiger in Queensland after searching for one for more than a decade. And a close-up shot of the alleged Tasmanian tiger which was presumably taken on a nearby game camera. And the first thing that you'll notice is the striped patterns on its back like that of the Tasmanian tiger and also some other features such as its back legs and the color of its fur. But these are all things that bring up a question, a question that is very important indeed. Could this be something far more mundane and perhaps a hoax? Or is this a real Tasmanian tiger out in the wild proving that they still do exist? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. In this next capture, we see something that was caught on an individual's home security camera system, and it's very bizarre indeed. An unidentifiable figure, which is obviously bipedal, walking past the security camera, looking as it goes by, giving us at least a blurry view of its face. It's a downright creepy image, there's no denying that, but it could also simply be explained by a human. So what do you think? human or something unknown. This next capture comes from the lower Appalachian foothills of northern Georgia, and it's one of the crazier that I've seen. Sent to me by a loyal viewer, we're looking at a dark figure walking past the camera, much like the last image except for this is obviously not something human. The image is suspiciously blurry, and it lacks many details that would allow us to see what it actually is. But some details that I do notice are its big feet and also its cone-shaped head. Check out this apocalyptic looking image of a flock of birds as they fly up all at once by a trail camera. It's a unique and rare capture indeed. 
And in this next one, we see an animal in which most people can't identify. Can you? Well, if you said that this animal is a weasel, then you're wrong, because it's actually a stoat. And most people don't know the difference between a stoat and a weasel. In this map, you can see in the green highlighted areas where stoats inhabit, and that includes a large region of North America. Stoats are usually different from weasels in size, whether that be that the stoat is smaller or larger than other weasel kinds. But there's also another defining characteristic that stoats have that weasels do not, and that is the tail. See, a stoat's tail has a black tip, and a weasel's does not. Weasels have short tails, and stoats have longer tails. So, in this image, we can definitely see that what we're looking at is a stoat. You've seen deer do some crazy things before, but have you ever seen a trail camera image like this? Well, I sure haven't, depicting a deer, which I can only assume is jumping over another. And in this extraordinary trail camera image, we see a sight in which you don't typically see on an everyday basis, all captured by the power of trail cameras. Here recently, I come across this very strange image depicting a wolfman-like creature, a cryptid. I've shared these type of things many times on the channel before, but this is by far one of the more bizarre that I've seen. Some will see this as an obvious fake, while others may think that it might just be a real image. Is it AI generated, or is it a trail camera picture? Who knows? And here's another similar image depicting not this time a wolfman creature, but something a little different, almost like that of the legendary Sasquatch. It's a much clearer image than we're typically used to seeing, so that's a plus. In this capture, we see a hawk attempt to capture a squirrel as the squirrel flees away in an epic video shot. Watch closely. The squirrel cleverly evades the hawk by hiding on the other side of the tree. This is definitely one phenomenal capture showing Mother Nature in action. And in this last video, watch closely at the bottom of the screen as a squirrel attacks a deer. Yes, you heard that correctly. A squirrel jumps onto the face of a deer. Watch again as the full scene unfolds. And now in slow motion. This here is a thermal camera, or more specifically, a thermal monocular, and it's designed to record things the human eye can't see, such as heat in the environment. And it happens to look just like this. Picture a deer standing next to a cornfield. This is with a regular camera, but then you switch on thermal, and you can reveal the heat signature of the deer, visually separating it from its background. It's a visual representation of temperature, there are many applications of thermal cameras, and most of them are best used at night, where you can't see anything, but with a thermal, you can. So that's exactly what we decided to do, and this leads us to number one. With a thermal camera on board, we decided to hop in the car and go out into the country at night to see what all animals we might capture. And to be honest, the ending results may shock you. As one would expect, we captured a large variety of smaller critters, including this one, which was up close to the camera, and it gave us a good look. Can you tell what it is? The curious animal stood on its hind legs and watched us as we recorded it in the dark night, and then it proceeded to walk off into the field. Have a look at this replay. 
As many of you have probably figured out by now, this animal is indeed a raccoon. It's definitely one of our more interesting thermal captures. But then we entered a heavily wooded area where all kinds of animals live, and that's when I captured this, something rather bizarre. It was a thermal signature that I could not immediately identify. Watch closely in the yellow circle as it moves around in the weeds and bushes. Then it became apparent that it was more than one thermal signature. Whatever they were, they were big, bulky, and definitely not a native animal that I can think of off the top of my head. Maybe possibly a bear, but that even is a stretch for me. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Take a look at this trail camera video of a bear taking a bath in some muddy water nearby. This is an aspect of wildlife that many people can't see. This here may be one of the clearest cryptid photos that I have ever laid eyes on. Look at the detail in this hairy figure standing right in front of a trail camera. Unfortunately, like many cases, we do not get a visual of its face, which is definitely disappointing. But just look at the clarity of this image. The location and source is unknown, and I just happened to find it scouring on the internet for hours. What do you think? Is it real, or is it fake? Now check out this trail camera image of the face of something unknown. It looks hairy, almost as if it has a beard, and you can see lips, and even the bottom of a nose. Could this be a human playing a prank, or is this something far less mundane? And we also get two other images, revealing the face at other angles. Do these images depict a face, or is it perhaps an illusion, depicting something else altogether? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. At first glance, this picture shows nothing, but a good look in the bottom left corner of the screen reveals an unknown creature. It appears to be quadpedal or on all fours, but that doesn't reveal exactly what it is. Some have suggested it's just a dog, others say it's something more strange. Over the past few years, in the state of Texas, and even here recently, something strange has been going on. Trail cameras and phone cameras alike have been capturing an unknown animal. Many have dubbed it the Black Panther of Texas, and here is a clear image of one such animal. And there are many of these online, including this one, also showing something in the distance. Perhaps some of these sightings are just the result of misidentification, but others are more convincing than others, such as this one, revealing clearly a black cat. And not just any black cat, but some resembling that of a panther. But many experts believe that the explanation is no more than a jaguarundi, an animal that's native to northern Mexico and Central and South America. Perhaps a stray breeding population of the jaguarundis have made their way up into the United States, which would explain the numerous sightings in Texas. So what do you think? Jaguarundi, Black Panther, or some other cryptid? Despite the possible explanation, it still remains a mystery.
Here recently, in the state of Florida, particularly in the Panhandle, where Panama City Beach is, a black bear was recorded swimming with visitors. The entire incident was recorded and even made it onto national news, as it should, as it's certainly something you don't see every day that you go down to the beach. The black bear didn't seem to pose a threat to the onlookers, and even seemed to be having a blast. But I for one would not be getting this close, to get a video, even if it was a smaller bear. So that brings up a question. How did the bear get into the waters of the Gulf of Mexico without being noticed by a soul until it exited? It definitely feels out of place, but black bears do inhabit large portions of the state of Florida, so I guess it's not that surprising after all. And last but not least, this large, dark figure hunched over as if it is looking at a trail camera hidden under some brush. This image is flat out terrifying, but it could easily be a fake. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below and contact me at encountering.bigfoot11 at gmail.com. This YouTuber set up a trail camera next to some rocks, and in the crevice was a snake. The snake's presence is eventually revealed to the bobcat, which begins to attack it. Perhaps the bobcat perceives the snake as a threat. It's an interesting aspect of wildlife to see two radically different type of animals combat each other. But in this case, it looks like the bobcat's the only one doing the fighting. And in this clip, these bobcats are startled immediately by a snake that's hanging out atop some rocks. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments section below. This is one unique capture, shared to Facebook very recently. It's of a deer, and right above it, we see a firework bursting in the air. It's not an everyday thing to see a deer standing next to the backdrop of a beautiful, glowing orange firework. And in this video shared by the same Facebook account, we see a raccoon and a deer, almost as if they're best buds, hanging out with each other, doing some very bizarre things. Perhaps you can explain the odd behavior between the raccoon and the deer. It's a wholesome moment of nature captured in time forever through video. And it's honestly hilarious to see animals react to each other in this way. this next segment, we're going to be looking at some strange faces that have been caught on trail camera, starting with this picture showing not a face, but some kind of dark blurry figure, which is clearly hairy. Its face is obscured, and we can't quite make out any major details, but the Facebook account that posted this image also posted another that was taken later that night, and this is the one that started all the controversy and caused it to go viral. And rather ominously, we get an up-close view of an eye and a forehead. The eye doesn't look like it belongs to that of a human or a deer, but all the discussion was settled after this next image was also shared, showing what appears to be a rather well-defined snout. Maybe it is just a bison. But even if that set of captures were solved, this next image is mind-boggling. At first glance, we see the face of a humanoid creature, hairy and with a broadly shaped nose, almost flat on the top, unlike that of a human's, 
But most interestingly, the eye doesn't even have a visible pupil. All we can see is all black coloring. I've been on the internet for a while now, and I can tell you that this image right here is by far the most bizarre that you'll ever lay eyes on. Nobody has been able to accurately identify this, but I'm leaning towards a canine. Even so, it doesn't appear to be your average canine, so perhaps it's something far more sinister. What do you think? In this video, shared by Matt Busbis on Facebook, we see a family of white deer walking near to a body of water, including this one standing in the road ahead of the person recording. Oftentimes, these white albino deer suffer very unfortunate circumstances as they stand out to the rest of their surroundings, especially to nearby predators. Seeing a group of albino deer is not something you run into every day. Check out these two baby fawns laying out in the middle of a gravel road. They think that they're concealing themselves from the human, which they perceive as a predator, but actually they stand out like a sore thumb. Even so, it's a hilariously and very cute encounter. So if you saw these two baby fawns laying out in the road, what would you do? And how do you think they got into this situation in the first place? Check out this man who can randomly come up to any deer out in the woods, and it starts doing something very strange, nibbling on his fingers. I'm not exactly sure why the deer is doing this, but it makes for a hilarious video. And to conclude this segment, we look at this very up-close encounter with another albino deer. It's somewhat rare in itself to see a deer get this up close and comfortable to a human, but an albino one, that just takes things up a notch. And here is an unsettling video clip revealing a Sasquatch-like creature staring up at a camera that was positioned 12 feet high on a tree stand in Southern California. But some viewers have pointed out that it's actually a clip from a documentary about an ape that walks bipedally in a zoo. What do you think? In my opinion, the face does appear to be rather consistent with an ape. And in this capture, a man was driving down a rural road when all of a sudden this huge white creature that he could not identify ran across it. That's when he videoed it. Watch closely and let me know what you think. It doesn't look like any wildlife that I'm accustomed to seeing. Could this be a first-hand account of an unknown cryptid? And here we have an alleged trail camera picture of what appears to be some kind of bear-wolf hybrid. As weird as it sounds, the face looks like that of a bear, but the creature has some kind of wolf characteristic as well. But if I'm being honest, I think this is just one example of fakery in the form of AI-generated art. The face, and honestly the picture overall, just doesn't look real to me. But this picture is different, appearing much more real than any that we've shown so far. A hidden camera, positioned inside of a tree for weeks, maybe even months, captured this unknown and truly disturbing encounter. A hairy creature on all fours. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments.
Imagine taking a hike through the woods and seeing two ghostly, witch-like figures walking on a trail. Well, in this next trail camera capture, imagine no more. The original poster stated that this capture was from a relative's trail camera, and it depicts a mysterious and ominous scene of three figures. But one of them stands out the most, having a striking and disturbing resemblance to that of a witch. And in this capture, we see something particularly similar, also depicting a witch-like figure standing in the middle of an open area where the trail camera is pointed. In this upcoming video clip, you'll see not the paranormal, but rather something very similar to that of a military, a government or law enforcement agency. It's not exactly known why the armed officers are there, but what is known is that it is definitely an out of the ordinary occurrence. A few of the individuals even seem to notice the trail camera recording them. The original poster did speculate that perhaps they were doing a training exercise. What are your thoughts on the situation? Leave them down in the comments section below. Recently, the Gardner, Massachusetts Police Department set out a trail camera, and at first, all it captured was the normal wildlife of the area, including this raccoon. These mundane and rather normal captures were to be expected, but they would definitely take a turn for the worst when this unexpected capture showed up. A suited up individual with an unknown identity wearing a bizarre mask. The person seemed to be collecting something off the ground and putting it in some sort of bag. No one is sure what the person was up to on the night of this bizarre and scary capture. This next trail camera picture comes out of the town of Williston, Florida, located in the lower Panhandle region of the state. As it has been told, a friend to the stepdad of the original poster had a feeder set up for hunting. A game camera positioned towards the feeder captured something that definitely is not the regular fauna of the state. Have a look for yourself. Posted by Landon Sanders on Facebook, the picture depicts a dark-colored, hairy figure sitting behind a log underneath the feeder which cannot be seen in this frame. This furry animal's face can be seen, and also its ears, as well as its round head with broad shoulders. The animal looks like that of a monkey or ape. But things become even more interesting when you learn that a Chinese biotech company by the name of Joanne Biologics was planning on doing some construction in the area, more specifically, Levy County, Florida. This construction plan involved building a facility where there would be lots of monkeys and apes for the purposes of scientific research. This primate laboratory, if you will, would be constructed on 1,400 acres of land that was purchased for $3.1 million, Joanne Biologics referring to it as a primate quarantine and breeding facility. And this is definitely some interesting background information to take into consideration with this particular case. Coincidence? Maybe. Perhaps it is no connection at all. But it is rather interesting that a trail camera capture of an ape or monkey-like figure was in the same area as this proposed plan. And even if there is no connection, it is well known that there are native species of monkey in the state of Florida or at least native in the sense that there are breeding populations in the wild that live there. So let me know what you think this trail camera picture is of. It's one thing to capture an unknown animal, 
but it's a whole nother to see an unexpected visitor in human form. And that's exactly what we see next, a human walking in front of a trail camera, seemingly oblivious of its presence as it takes a picture. But I've gotta admit, it's pretty creepy that this person looks exactly like they just walked out of The Walking Dead. This zombie-like person could be someone playing a prank, or perhaps a person genuinely lost in the woods. Either way, I wouldn't want to encounter them myself. A person on Facebook shared this bizarre image of an unknown animal with two pointy ears seemingly on all fours with knuckles pressed into the ground. Some commenters on the original post pointed out that it actually looks rather small in comparison to the ground and the blades of grass that surround it. What do you think it is? A rabbit or something far less mundane? In this alleged trail camera picture, from an unknown source, we see what appears to be some kind of feral human, almost Neanderthal-like. The facial structure looks almost prehistoric and primitive. Not exactly something you would expect to see in 2023. It appears to be not an ordinary Homo sapien, but one from ancient times. But it's on a modern game camera in modern times, so how can you explain this phenomenon? Is this truly a feral human with a large brow ridge that stumbled upon the camera unsuspectingly, or is this perhaps just a simple fabrication? Give me your thoughts on the rare image down in the comment section below. In this video, recently uploaded to YouTube, the filmer notices a brown hairy blob standing in the distance on the edge of the wood line. It seems to be motionless. Something seems off about it, as if it doesn't match with the background, and the attentive viewer can probably notice minor subtle movements, that is until it completely gets up and walks away. Surprisingly enough, the blob-like figure does not appear to resemble that of a bear, or any animal that would be native to where the video is probably taken. Imagine this scenario, a lamp and a wolf in the same trail camera picture. Well, imagine no more, because in this next picture, that's exactly what we see. A wolf ominously carrying a lamp in its mouth. This raises the obvious question as to where the lamp come from and where the wolf got it. And last but not least, the grand finale of the video. A large, bipedal figure, hairy and shaggy in appearance, walking towards a trail camera. The picture is shockingly detailed, and reveals something that we don't see very often. A clear-cut visual of what appears to be the Sasquatch. In my personal opinion, the picture looks fake, but you can always draw your own conclusions down in the comments section below. And with that being said, Thank you for watching today's video. And now we end this mega compilation off with these never before seen captures, including this one of an unknown canine like creature running past a trail camera. And shared by another fellow YouTube creator. This picture depicts some kind of strange face. It's indisputably unsettling and detailed, but is it real? And now this picture which gives us a sneak peek into this weekend's compilation. We'll talk more about this on Saturday.